Have you ever wondered why ensemble methods are a hot topic in machine learning? Well, it's because they bring a unique twist to the table. Ensemble methods, by their very nature, are all about teamwork. They combine several machine learning models, which we often refer to as weak learners, to create an optimized, strong learner. This collaboration enhances the overall performance and makes the model more robust and accurate. Now, there are different ways to create these ensembles, and two of the most popular ones are bagging and pasting. These methods have their unique strengths, and they leverage the power of multiple learners in slightly different ways. So, the magic of ensemble methods lies in their ability to transform weak learners into a strong one. Now, let's delve deeper into bagging and pasting. First, we'll tackle bagging. What is it and how does it work? Bagging, which is a short form for bootstrap aggregating, is a powerful ensemble method used in machine learning. The beauty of bagging lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. So let's break it down and see how it works. Imagine you have a data set. Now, instead of using the entire data set to train a single model, bagging creates multiple subsets from the original data set. These subsets are made using a method known as bootstrapping. This is where the bootstrap in bootstrap aggregating comes from. Bootstrapping involves sampling the original data set with replacement, which means some instances may appear multiple times in a single subset, while others may not appear at all. Next, a base model is created for each subset. These base models are trained independently from each other. They can be of any type, but decision trees are commonly used. The rationale behind this is that by training different models on different subsets, we can capture a wide range of patterns and nuances in the data. Finally, when it's time to make predictions, bagging doesn't rely on a single model. Instead, it aggregates the predictions from all the models. This aggregation is usually done through a simple majority vote for classification problems or an average for regression problems. The magic of bagging is that it reduces the variance of the prediction by introducing randomness into the model building process. With multiple models at play, it's less likely that our final prediction will be thrown off by the quirks of a single model. This makes bagging a robust and reliable tool for machine learning. To put it in a nutshell, bagging is like gathering wisdom from a crowd. Each model, trained on a different subset, brings its own perspective to the table. When these perspectives are combined, the final decision is not only more balanced but also more accurate. It's a beautiful example of how diversity can lead to strength. That's bagging for you, it's like gathering wisdom from a crowd. Each model brings its own perspective and the final decision is more balanced and accurate. Now, let's turn our attention to pasting. How is it different from bagging? Well, at first glance, pasting might seem identical to bagging. Both methods involve creating multiple subsets of the original dataset to train different models. But here's the kicker. While bagging allows for repeated instances in these subsets, pasting does not. In bagging, instances can be picked more than once for the same subset, a method known as sampling with replacement. But pasting, on the other hand, is all about sampling without replacement. This means that once an instance has been selected for a subset, it can't be picked again for that same subset. This key difference has a significant impact on how our models perform. Pasting ensures that each instance gets its equal share of attention, reducing the risk of overfitting to particular instances. This can lead to a more robust model that generalizes better to unseen data. So that's pasting. It's like a stricter version of bagging, ensuring that every instance gets its fair share of attention. Now that we've explored both bagging and pasting, let's summarize their key points. Bagging, or bootstrap aggregating, involves creating multiple subsets from the original dataset with replacement. These subsets are then used to train separate models, and the final prediction is made through voting or averaging. Pasting, on the other hand, is quite similar, but it samples without replacement. This means that the same instance can't appear in more than one subset. The main difference between them lies in the sampling technique. Bagging allows for repeated instances in a subset, while pasting doesn't. Despite this difference, they both share a common goal, to improve model performance by leveraging the power of multiple models. They aim to reduce both bias and variance 
making our predictions more accurate and reliable. And that wraps up our discussion on bagging and pasting. Remember, in the world of machine learning, two heads, or in this case models, are often better than one.